Thank you, Chairwoman Napolitano, and uh, we too look forward to working towards a successful uh, 2020 WERDA. Uh, we look forward to working with you and working for our country to do uh, legislation that's vitally important uh, to uh, the infrastructure of our country. Good morning, Secretary James and uh, General Seminat, and thank you for being here today. Uh, the Corps of Engineers constructs projects critical to the nation for the purpose of navigation, flood control, shoreline protection, hydroelectric power, recreation, environmental protection, restoration and enhancement, uh, and fish and wildlife mitigation. Quite a task uh, that you have. Today we're going to review 17 Army Corps of Engineers Chiefs reports that have been delivered to Congress since word of 2018 was signed into law in October of 2018. Uh, these reports are the result of a rigorous planning and review process. Uh, each project was proposed by non-federal interest in cooperation and consultation with the Corps. All of these reports, while tailored to meet locally developed needs, have national, economic, and environmental benefits. When constructed, Corps projects ensure that communities are protected from floods and their nation remains globally competitive through a reliable and efficient port and inland waterway system. Today, we will also review the 2019 Annual Report to Congress on Future Water Resources Development. The Annual Report enables non-federal interests to submit to the Corps proposed feasibility studies and modifications to projects and other program authorities. Required by Section 7001 of the 2014 Water Resources Reform and Development Act, the Annual Report enables state and local entities to send up projects critical to their communities and provides another avenue for congressional consideration and authorization. This hearing today is an important step in Congress's oversight of the Corps Civil Works Program, and the reports reviewed today will serve as the foundation for the Water Resources Development Act this committee will consider later this year. Uh, finally, General Seminite, I understand this could be your last time before the committee in your current capacity. I want to thank you for your years of service, uh, for your considerable efforts uh, in dr to drive accountability and efficiency within the Corps, uh, and for your dedication uh, to our nation. And with that, Madam Chair, I look forward to working with you and you'll back. 